Interactive panels are an awesome way to engage kids in class, but what if they have their own devices? You don't want to just let those sit around, and there's not always room for all the kids to be up at the panel at once. How can we utilize things like checks for understanding so that we have a better pulse on the classroom? Today we're going to look at what's called the Board Public Portal to access tools which are known as Pop Quiz and Throw. My name is Mr. Sharp. I have 12 years experience in the classroom and I'm one of USONIC's professional development trainers. Let's jump right in and see how we can get students to interact with My View Board. Locate your board name in the top left corner of My View Board. Touch it to display the URL for your portal as well as a QR code. You can scan the QR code and it takes you to the same address that is displayed here. Once students access that address, they'll be prompted to type in their name. From here, in this activity, I'm going to ask students to throw an image. What they're going to do on their device is locate the paper airplane icon where there's an upload link. They're going to click upload and choose an image from their device to throw to the panel. Up on the top left, you'll see a little bell icon. This is my notification icon. When I touch it, I can see that a few students have thrown images to the board. I can also hear it with that ding that happened in the background. To access images, I'm going to go to the magic box, which is located right here in the main toolbar. You'll see a paper airplane icon. This is the throw tool. When I touch that, it shows all the images that have been thrown to the panel. I can see here that a shark has been thrown, as well as a wolf. To use these images, I'm going to touch and drag them onto the canvas. From here, I can resize them. And now we can draw them into our table and sort them appropriately. On this page, we're going to do a quick check for understanding to see if kids are following us on predators versus prey. They're going to access this through the board public portal, which again is in the top left. Go to that URL and then you're going to look for the icon that has, it looks like fireworks, but with letters in it, A, B, C, D. This is the pop quiz tool for the kids. It's going to open a new screen, which is a blank canvas. Here they can draw or type on the canvas. When they're ready, they'll click the throw icon to throw their answer to the panel. When the answer is thrown, you can hear it with a little ding in the background. You can also look for the bell icon and the bell icon is your notifications. You can check your notifications to see who has shared a pop quiz answer. To access your pop quiz, you're going to go to the magic box and you're going to look for that same icon, which is the fireworks with the A, B, C, and D answers. When you select that, you'll see any students who have provided responses. Their answers are hidden initially so that we all can't see what they chose. We can see that Barry has submitted a response and so to reveal the answer we tap the image and it will show what they answered. Now we have a cool visual to have a discussion about wait is a spider a predator or maybe is it both? Down here you'll see a save icon. If you want to save your results you can select that and then choose a folder in your cloud storage. A folder will be created for every student who responded with an image of each one of their responses. Again, this is a great way to provide additional interaction in the classroom using My View Board. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check us out on social media. If you want to get in touch with us, read the description and fill out the form. We'll reach out to you. Thanks so much for watching.